Hi everyone, Steve, and we're back here with Dosha Life, where we talk about martial arts, learning, and the journey. In our last video, we talked about the different styles of martial arts, and we had a viewer question. I love those questions and comments. Keep them coming in. Anyway, we had a question from Joe, and Joe asked, what is the oldest style of martial art? Well, Joe, that's a very good question. The oldest style of martial art. Well, you know, as long as people have been human beings, we've been figuring out better and better ways to best each other at physical combat. So we could really, I mean, you go back to the dawn of time and maybe someone's in a cave and they're using a spear or a stick and they go out and they practice. It really kind of depends on what, how you're going to define martial art. So for the, for the purpose of, of answering your question, for the purpose of academia, let's say that our definition here is going to be a the style of martial art that's a philosophy and a combat style and a way of life that is codified and has moves and practice, practices and has a name. So, so now we're going to look for that. I know a lot of people might already be thinking, oh, I know this, I know that one. Maybe, maybe you'll get to the one we're talking about, but I have a really cool answer here. So first let's talk about historical record or archaeological record that have to do with combat or, you know, martial activities at all. We can go back to 3500 BC or 3400 BC at Beni Hassan in Egypt and they found fresco, fresco paintings of, of combat and seemed kind of organized in, in combat, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a martial art. It could have just been an artist's defliction or re depiction of, reflection of some combat that happened. Safe to assume if they had armies that were doing combat, they were training one way or another, but that's not the whole art style. 2700 BC, the, the Golden Emperor in China, whether he was mythical or real, that's still up to, you know, debate. There was, there was record of a person called the Golden Emperor, and he produced uh, sc scrolls, scripts, uh, writing texts about astrology, military combat that happened, and sciences and things like that. Again, we still don't really have a, a style, a martial arts style, that we can point to directly. There's some evidence from Vietnam from 2000 BC talking about use of certain weapons. Again, not a style. The epic, well, not a known style. It's, you know, some things are just lost to antiquity. So it's the oldest known style of martial art is what we're going for here. The Epic of Gilgamesh, 1800 BC, Mesopotamia, Babylonia, that area. In there, they're describing combat and stuff that went on, but again, not really a true martial art that we know of. So now we've said what the answer isn't, let's figure out what the answer is. Okay. Well, let's think back to the oldest one. Well, most of the ones in, China, in Japan and Okinawa and Korea all can trace their roots back to China. So, just, so someone's probably thinking, ah, I know, China. Kung Fu, right? The Shaolin Kung Fu, the Shaolin Temple, 500 A.D., 1,000, 5, 600 years ago. Uh, that's pretty old. Is that the oldest known style of martial art? Well, let's look at where Kung Fu came from, Shaolin Kung Fu. The Bodhidharma, a Buddhist priest, brought that up from India. Well, if you brought it from India, it already existed in India. So Kung Fu, oldest style? Nope, we're going to go back further. Something in India. Okay. So we searched the records and the manuscripts and the, the writings from India. We got some records going back BC, two, three hundred, two or three hundred years BC. So now we're talking seven, eight hundred years before Kung Fu, Shaolin Kung Fu. And there were warrior there was a warrior caste and they had martial arts that were like a physical training, a spiritual training. They had the whole thing. Actually, yogic practices were part of that conditioning the body, which is the predecessor of modern day yoga. So when you see someone doing yoga, it's like, hey, you know, you're doing a form of martial arts or it came from martial arts. And, you know, you're going to go to the, uh, to the yoga studio and work out. Namaste here and train. Namaste here and train in my, in my dojang. Um, so there's one called Kalari Payatu. And that's an Indian style, and that's probably considered to be one of the oldest ones, and it's still in existence today. There's actually a revival of it in the 20s and 30s, but that was the whole system. You had weapons, you had physical training, you had you know meditation and philosophy. The writings of that go back, like I said, two, three hundred BC. So not Kung Fu, so Kalari Payatu. Nope. Let's go back further, and this is where some people are probably. 
I sing it. I know the answer. I know the answer. Pancration. Pancration is the oldest in the original martial art. Other people are saying, what is pancration? Pancration goes back to the Olympics, the, the, the old Olympics, the original Olympics. So now we're in Greece, and now we're at 700 B.C., 2,700 years ago. And Pancration is, uh, was first introduced in the 33rd Olympics, 33rd Ancient Olympics, which was in 648 B.C. Pancration is a mixed martial art. The old, oldest martial art is a mixed martial art, MMA. And it's a combination of boxing and wrestling, which were previous Olympic sports. Well, wait a minute, that means they're older. Hmm. So pancreation might not be the oldest martial art. But anyway, with pancreation, pretty much anything goes. You know, Vali told you can anything but gouging people's eyes and, and grabbing them by yeah, pretty much anything goes. A few rules. And there's lots of there's lots of good documentation on what went on with pancreation. Pancreation, like I said, six forty eight, the thirty third Olympic Games. But before that, we'll go back a couple of Olympiads. Olympiads? Olympiads. An Olympiad is an actual measure of time, a unit of time equal to four years. So every four years, they had an Olympics. That's how they got that. Every Olympiad, every four years, we have a leap year. So we're going to go back to the 18th Olympics, which is just before the, um, you know, several Olympiad before the 33rd. And that's wrestling was first introduced as an Olympic sport. A couple years after that, a couple of Olympiads after that, boxing was introduced. So before pancreation, within the course of 100 years, wrestling and boxing. So wrestling, oldest martial art, because it was in the, wrestling was in the, introduced in the 18th Olympics in 708 BC. So there's your answer. Uh, wrestling is the oldest martial art, 727, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go back further than that. Let's go back a thousand years further than that. Let's go back almost 2,000 years. Let's go to 2500 BC. So, uh, how are you gonna do that? I'm not sure. I need some sort of time machine. Let's go to the continent of Africa for the first martial art. It's the cradle of civilization, the cradle of humanity, might as well be the cradle of martial arts. So we're gonna go back to Africa, 2500 BC, and in the Asbir Necropolis, Necropolis is where they would, it's a, a burial place, um, there are records and frescoes of martial art, a martial art called Tatib. Now the full name for it, uh, is, this is one I'm going to do the best I can, it's Fa Anazaha Wa Tatib, which means the art of being straight and honest using a stick. And they found records of this with manuals and instructions and really, I mean, something like you'd see out of a martial arts instruction book today, codified, uh, kind of like the Filipino martial arts with sticks and hands, so Tatib. Tahtib is the oldest martial art, 2500 BC, 4,500 years ago. And there's still a form of this being practiced today. It's put on more as a dance and a stick and dance show, and it's done in Egypt for tourists. But that's actually the oldest martial art, and it comes from uh, a combat, a true combat form with a greater philosophy of being straight and true using a stick. Stick. So, Joe, to the, answer, the short answer to your question, what's the oldest martial art? Tahtib. Or if you really want a mouthful, fan anazaha wa tahtib. Hope I said it right. Anazaha wa tahtib. Oldest martial art, 2500 BC. Boom. There you go. Thanks for stopping by. Comment, like, subscribe. We love those subscriptions. Johnny.